my folks, Donnie D here. Uh, any folks like that that uh, uh, look at any of my threads on the forums or <clears throat> look at any of my videos know that I like to try to save a little money when I shoot uh, so I'll have more to spend on guns and ammo. And I do a lot of stuff myself such as make my targets or my flash clays or I even I built my own gun cabinet and it's like time I about got that one full. I think I'm getting ready to build another one. But anyway, you know I like to do do-it-yourself stuff and share my ideas uh, on YouTube uh, with my fellow shooters uh, to try to help them save a little money. But anyway, uh, yesterday I went shooting for a little while and I took my AR with me and also uh, my wife's uh, 22 bolt action rifle and uh, I set up some of these uh, little targets here and also set up uh, this uh, steel plate that you see over here uh, hanging uh, steel plate and the way it's made is that it, uh, it's, it's just one of these uh, uh, decorative yard flag holders made out of steel with an 8 inch in this instance an 8 inch steel plate that was hung, was hung by this uh, swing chain and I had just tack welded the corners of this uh, up here, the, the swing chain, and then it went through the holes in the uh, uh, steel plate, and, and it works fine. No, nothing wrong with it at all, except the very first shot I took <coughs> was with my wife's 22 rifle, yeah, shooting at the steel plate, and immediately it was started hanging sideways, so there's no way I was going to hit it. Obviously, I have a hard enough time hitting it face on, but anyway. So I walked down to the uh, to the target, and sure enough, the very first shot I had hit the other chain, not this one, but the other chain, one on this side here, and it was just nowhere to be found. It, it, it hit it and broke it and thrown it up into the bushes somewhere. I wouldn't find it <laughs> for in, in forever if I tried. But anyway, make a long story short, I have been using little uh, short pieces of this electric fence wire off this spool here as you can see to hang some of my paper targets or some of my homemade shooting seeds real simple just take the uh, piece of wire and bend it to shape hang it over the backboard and then hook it into your target and it works great cheap way easy way to hang your paper targets and stuff so I had a bunch of extra pieces of this in the back of my truck and I took one and went over and hooked it in and uh, used it to hang that the missing chain side of my steel target and it works so well when I got home I just took the other piece of chain off and now I've got it hanging by electric fence wire and I think that's the way I'm going to leave it <coughs> because if you think about it it's way smaller in profile than the chain is so it's less likely to get hit and if it does I can fix it in like five seconds just to keep a little extra uh, fence pieces of fence wire in the back of my truck if I have a problem just replace it and you can do it in just a couple of seconds. Uh, so anyway, I thought that I'd share that uh, with my shooting friends. A uh, good way to hang your steel targets from your, whatever you're hanging them from, your rack or whatever. Uh, cheap, easy way that's really easily repairable. Now, this is a quarter inch steel plate. Now, I suppose if you were hanging a big 12, 18 inch, uh, half inch thick gong, uh, you may need to double or triple it, triple it up but either way it still should work and like I said it would still be uh, easy to replace but anyway that's just one idea plus of course just the idea of using these to hang your paper steel targets from your shooting backboard <coughs> and it's just uh, all it is is a regular old 17 gauge electric fence wire I've had this roll for literally years because I don't use a whole lot of it uh, so one roll, I don't know how much it would cost, it's been so long since I bought it, I imagine it's relatively inexpensive, but it would last you forever. Uh, but anyway, that's what, what I've been using, or so that's what I use. And one more thing I find a good use for it, uh, I bought this uh, steel target, spinning steel target, it's a high caliber target, uh, I believe it's a do-all light door, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I got it from Walmart, I paid about $40 for it, and it works really great. If I had one gripe about it, it would be that it's kind of low to the grain. I wish they could make it so it's a little bit taller, maybe another 8, 10 inches taller would be much better, but it still does great. But again, I've, and I've had it a couple, three months, I guess, 
the very first time, one of the very first shots I had on it, I hit over here. I hit right at the little hinge piece, the little uh, uh, hinge piece where these legs uh, can pivot, and I did break it. But no problem, I just grabbed a piece of the uh, electric fence wire and uh, spun it around there, and it works just fine. But yeah, I believe I even made a video on this target, but uh, anybody that's looking a nice, uh, inexpensive, uh, high caliber steel target, uh, check Walmart out, um, and I, I recommend this one. But anyway, uh, just thought I'd share that little uh, money saving and uh, aggravation saving idea with you. I think it'll work good for you. Uh, try it and let me know if you like it. But for now, this is Donnie D, and I'll see you later. Bye.